Hey everyone, I'm Nitin Ranjit, ADM BCE 0 to 72, uh, and uh, as a part of my parallel and distributed computing project, uh, lab assignment, uh, I'll be demonstrating uh, the code for uh, the Monte Carlo problem for determination of the value of pi using OpenMP library, right? So OpenMP is basically a free library. Uh, I mean, it's, it's freely available on the GCC distribution. Uh, so what I used here is Ubuntu 20.04 on uh, Windows subsystem for Linux uh, version 1. Right. Let's start with the code right away. So stdio. Uh, so of course, uh, we begin uh, the C code with, of course, uh, including the basic header files. So the header files stdio.h and stdlib.h are all important uh, for any C file because they contain uh, functions like scanf and printf. Right. Now, omp.h we have used because, of course, as I said, we're using the OpenMP library and, uh, pardon, the OpenMP, uh, yeah, the OpenMP library and OpenMP library is available uh, only after using the omp.h uh, header file, right? We require some mathematical functions, hence we import the math library and we also require this time function, hence we import the time library. These are generic codes uh, coming all the way to the parallelization part. So any OpenMP program runs on the idea that there is a master thread and that master thread is then distributed into a lot of private threads. This is exactly what this line does. Uh, hash pragma OMP parallel first private XYZI shared count num threads num thread. What this does is it creates uh, a number of private threads in the master thread, right? srand int time null. So yeah, as you can see, we have used the time function here. Hence, I imported the time library, right? And the time function needs at least, uh, like it always needs one argument. So, uh, and so there is uh, like literally no argument to begin uh, the uh, program, to begin that particular thread. There is no, there is no time argument to begin that particular thread. Uh, the input we give is null, all right? Uh, what this line s rand in time null uh, and this is the XOR operator uh, OMP get thread num does is that it creates a seed value. Now, what is a seed value? A seed value is uh, any value with which the thread will begin its uh, generation of numbers, right? So, yeah. So, you know, Monte Carlo problem is based on the idea that if uh, a unit circle is inscribed in a unit square, then the value of pi will be equal to four times the area of circle divided by the area of square. So, uh, thinking it in a bit, uh, like a bit more uh, uh, in the way in which a computer might work, uh, what we think is, let there be a number of points, let there be uh, an indefinite number of points in the square. So, the number of points which lie inside that circle, which is inside that square, will be roughly equal to the area of the circle. So, uh, on this uh, on this line of similarity, we say that the four times area of circle divided by area of square will be equal to four times number of points inside the circle divided by number of points inside the square. Right? That is the basic uh, concept of the Monte Carlo problem. Right? So what this line does is it creates a seed value, uh, a random seed value. S rand ensures that this value is random. So a random seed value for every thread. Otherwise, what will happen is all the private threads that come from the master thread will have the same seed value. So we will not have a lot of values generated. Every every thread will generate the same sequence of numbers. Hence, we use this line. Now, x double rand divided by double rand max. Uh, as you can see, rand max will always be greater than this rand. So uh, x will be some random value uh, less than 1 or equal to 1. Similarly, y will be some random value less than or equal to 1. Now, if x and y are some random value less than or equal to 1, they will always lie inside the square, right? What is what is our concern is to find out if they lie inside the circle as well. Now, if they lie inside the circle, then they will obey the equation x square plus y squared equals to 1, right? Because the radius of the circle is 1 if they lie inside the circle or on the circle. So they will obey the equation x squared plus y squared less than or equal to 1. So let us say that there is some even more generalized function x squared plus y squared equals z squared, this z value. So we say that z equals to uh, square root of x squared plus y squared, this power function 
we get, get it from the maths.h library uh, this 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 function this line of code says that z or z is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared now as i said earlier if x and y lie inside the circle then the value of z should be less than or equal to 1 so uh, if z is less than or equal to 1 count increments so what the, what do we understand count is uh, the number of points that will lie inside the circle right so the value of pi as as we discussed uh, about the monte carlo problem is 4 times this 4 4 times count which is the number of points that lie inside the circle as we discussed here divided by num into num thread right what was num num is the number of iterations that we run so of course all the iterations that will run will always generate a point inside the square right into num of threads so every private thread will generate num number of points inside the square right and out of these num into num thread points count points lie inside the circle right so the value of pi will be equal to count over num into num threads the whole multiplied by 4 right and we just print the value right now just let's let us just execute this code right now uh, this execution so of course as i said it's gcc library that i'm using o monte carlo uh, now uh, this is this is the compiled file name then of course f open mp because we are using the open mp distribution in gcc so this is the extension that we put uh, we are compiling the file monte.c and since we are using the math.h library the point is math.h library uh, does not work after like after ubuntu 12 as i said i'm using ubuntu 20 so after ubuntu 12 math.h has to be explicitly added in the compilation so this hyphen lm does this this hyphen lm will explicitly add the math.h library all right now let's just run this code monte carlo so let me say that i run it for like 40,000 iterations uh, on two threads. So I get uh, the value of pi is 3.102750. So that shows that uh, this is insufficient, right? So let's just uh, run another code. This time for 1 million uh, uh, steps and for two threads only. So it becomes 109. It's still closer. One last time. Let me run it for 1 million times. Yeah, and for four threads. See, this is very close to the actual value of pi, right? Because uh, 1 million will be the number of uh, loops and 4 threads. So, the number of points generated is 4 million. So, our, when we when we do, like, and here the number of points will be 2 million, and here the number of points generated was 80,000, right? So, yeah, that was the Monte Carlo problem. Thank you so much.